You've already started the video? Yes. Okay. We got five already. Yep, we got five in share. So I think we're doing okay. <sighs> Lord, of all days, please let it go smooth. Okay. As long as it don't move the computer. <laughs> I, I won't <laughs> touch it. I, that's what happened with, uh, one time. Because I, I think I the family out. is marching in, so I figured I would turn the camera to get all them coming in. Okay. But I will not touch the cord. Yeah. So.
Just leap it until somebody got up there and started. Start subscription mm-hmm. yeah. when, you, when you see it's kind of messages. Yeah, I would just leap it and take it
that you will continue to walk with us, even in Clara's absence. Lord, it is a difficult time for her husband and her family. It's a difficult time for the church family. But Lord, I know you are the God that can give us the peace that surpasses all understanding. I know you are the God who can transform us. Lord, I know you are the God that in the fullness of time will show us just how much her life meant to all of us. Lord, help us to continue on the narrow way. Help us to throw our arms around this family that's grieving. Help us to be what you have called us to be. That we indeed are the hands and feet of Jesus. That we indeed are the ones who follow you. That we are indeed the ones who love you and love each other more than we love ourselves. Lord, send your spirit into the service and let it provide that comfort. Let it provide that peace and joy that only you can provide. In your son's name I pray.
August 9, 1948, important affairs went to Georgia. The daughter of Calvin Cobb and Thelma Elizabeth Wheeler Thurman. Clara was preceded in death by her parents, grandson Jimmy Bagwell, and great grandson Brent Walker. Clara was an active member and an elder at First Christian Church in Harrison, Arkansas, and she was also a member of the praise team. She graduated from Lakeshore High School in East Point, Georgia where she gained her passion for community involvement as a member of the drill team, as well as multiple clubs and student body organizations. She moved to Harrison from Atlanta in, 20, in 2004 and immediately established herself as a pillar of the church and local community. Her strong will was perfectly suited for self-employment, owning both a successful flower arrangement, gift basket, wedding coordination, and real estate companies. As an avid musician, she played the piano and organ in addition to sharing her passion with hundreds of students throughout her lifetime. Above all else, she was a devout Christian, loving all people and never meeting a stranger. Clara was a local realtor with Jerry Jackson Real Estate and a member of the Harrison Board of Realtors. She was the past president of the state and local chapter of the Circle of Friends, which served Arkansas Children's Hospital. She was also a member of the Rotary Club. As president of the Harrison Community Choir, she worked tirelessly to achieve nonprofit and incorporated status. Clara survived by her husband, Dave, her sister, Nita Pike, her brother and sister-in-law, Eddie and Debbie Thurman, her sons and daughter-in-law, Mike and Angie Martin, Chris and Debbie Sims, and Kevin and Carl Carroll Sims, her daughter-in-law and son-in-law, Carl. Kim Sims and Robert Black Bagwell, her grandchildren, her grandchildren, I'm sorry, Joshua, Jenna, Logan, Dylan, Cody, Caitlin, Bethany, Nick, Tanner, Gabby, Brittany, and Izzy, her great grandchildren. I'm sorry, her great, those were her grandchildren. And her great grandchildren are Levi, CJ, Graceland, Emily, Emma, let's see what it said. Emily, Emily, Abby Lynn, Lothan, Rick River, Colton, and Makaya Lake, the Makaya Lee, and a host of other friends, family, and dear friends. A life well lived.
tried to text messages back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And quite frankly, I think she did get the last word. <laughs> and my husband would tell you that hardly ever happens with me. But uh, the thing I love about her most was she was just such a, such a sweet spirit. And she meant well. She meant good for whoever she was.
so as I thought about how to talk about Thursday, the phrase that came to me was, how do you honor a life well lived? How do you honor a life well lived? How do you honor one who touches hearts and encourages you along the way, who is always ready with the word of hope, who served others like it was the air she breathed, who loved to fill the world with the praises of the Lord and song, and who had a passion for life. How do you honor a life well lived? How do we honor Clara Sims? We honor her with love. We honor her with love. Like I said before, I have not known Clara as long as many of you have. And I thank God that he gave us an opportunity to spend time together that he gave us time to, to spend a little bit of our lives with each other. In Clara, I found a friend. And it was a joy to know someone who would actually do what they told you they were going to do, who followed through on things, and was always ready to keep things moving in the right direction. Probably if I had to draw a, a, a saying that she was similar to one of the disciples, I'd probably pick out Peter, even though she wasn't cutting off ears in the garden. She was one who, once she got her teeth in something, was ready to move forward with. Clara was a doer. People often talk about how long they've known you, how long they've known you. You know, you'll talk to people and they, oh yeah, I knew her, or I knew him since high school, or I've known him since elementary school, and in some cases, oh yeah, we've known each other since kindergarten, we grew up in the same neighborhood. But the Lord, I think, had to probably talk about that with what he told Jeremiah, which I knew you before I formed you in the womb. Now, that's really knowing somebody a long time, amen? Knowing you, oh, by the way, uh, I guess, is it okay, Dave, if I tell them what I tell them that they say amen, we'll get out of here faster? Okay. <laughs> when the Lord says to Jeremiah, I knew you before I formed you in the womb. Now, that's knowing a person a long time, amen? Okay. <laughs> God knows us in a place before that we were in before we were in the womb. That's a long time. And then we are born in that womb. We come into this come into this life, and we spend a lifetime here. And then we leave and return to Him, where it all began. And in this life. When we come to know him, we can choose to spend the rest of our lives walking with him and talking to him, or we can choose another path. And because of Jesus' finished work on the cross, the blood of Jesus, nothing can stop us or separate us from walking and talking with God. You see, we are the redeemed, the renewed, the resurrected, and the reconciled. We are re because we've been there before. When he, before he knew us. Before he formed us, I'm sorry, in the womb. And it was obvious to me from the first time I met her that she walked with God. That he had his hand on her life. And I got two things I want to say about Clara. One thing is, she loved Dave so much. It just poured him. It just came out of the porch. She loved him. She loved him. The other thing is, and I didn't mention this earlier, Clara was a bit stubborn. <laughs> So her stubbornness, I think she persevered with Dave, but also she held on to it, bit her teeth in and held on to anything that she became involved in. No, I love Clara, I love her personality, I love it. Because I knew exactly what I was dealing with. She didn't be around the board. She told me exactly what she thought. And if I were really truthful, I still have a few mix and cuts from my last encounter with Clara. But it's the mix. And you know, ultimately, we as Christians, we know that when this world comes to an end, this world will come to an end for us. That this 
quarrel is not meant to be our homes. That we are pilgrims traveling through a foreign land, as the old people would say in our church. When we leave these bodies, these temporary dwellings, or as the Apostle Paul referred to them, these tents, then we will rejoin the Lord in glory, the place where it all began. Clara was a woman of God. And she was true to the Lord in all that she did. And on December 16th, Clara left that earthly body and that tent with all its issues. She left it behind for a place where there are no more tears and no more sorrows and no more disappointments and no more surgeries and no more worries. She left this place for a place where the love of God closely and there is a crown of righteousness waiting for her. Dave, Anita, I know it's been hard, but I thank God that you were there for her. And Dave, I can't imagine what you're going through, but I know that God knew that you were the man to walk her walk his daughter through this world until he called her to come home. So to her family, I say comfort each other as only you can. And to this church, I say comfort our family members. And to this community, comfort. Let us provide comfort. This is how we will show put our love by comforting those she left behind. And as far as Sister Clara, wife, mother, sister, grandmother, great grandmother, I know Clara, and Clara always made sure things were decently and in order. Right? She was attention. She paid attention to details. She got things done. And because I know that. I know that Clara prayed for you all. I know she prayed for you. And because I know God, I know God will honor her prayer for the rest of your lives. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, now the hard work begins. Believing yesterday and today and walking into tomorrow, into tomorrow. Your view of the sin is on the way. Leaving them and coming down. You're such a good God and a merciful God and a mighty God. But Lord, I like to remember most of all that you are not in love. Hold them close and never let them fall. Amen. Now at this time, we're going to have a first first loop, and families want to read and we'll be out in the uh, the foyer. Uh, The church is prepared to build for the immediate family out in the fellowship hall. So I just need to let the immediate family know that. But what I'd like to ask you all to do Sing away the words of this. Amen. Let us sing.
Praise God. Praise God. 